<laughs> what is going on my fellow nerd nerd so today we are going to be unboxing and reviewing this overkill from spawn by uh, mcfarland toys honestly i don't know anything about overkill um i just got him because he looks like a badass android and i'm a sucker for huge figures so uh yeah let's go ahead and un unbox this and review it Alrighty, and here he is out of box and honestly first impressions holy crap i have looked at a couple reviews before buying this and they are not kidding this thing is like super light just really really light it's already kind of loose in the right there um i'm not saying i'm scared to move the joints but like i don't even know it's crazy how light it is um <laughs> i don't know how many of you are gonna be familiar with this uh what i'm gonna say but do you ever go to like a swap meet or a flea market uh mercado whatever you guys want to call them um back in the day or even now to today they have those like knockoff toys how it's like a very uh hollow figure and it's very light that's that gives me this kind of vibes um yeah like i'd be afraid if it dropped that this thing would kind of would break honestly um He's just that light and these figures like this arms already kind of loose right here or that shoulders loose this one's a little bit better the waist is already loose um yeah for, mm. yeah I, I i didn't buy this for retail i got this on sale on, on at gamestop i was not paying for retail for this i don't even know who he is honestly he just looks like a badass half machine robot that i think would look cool next to my uh Space Tribe Predators, that's the only reason why I got them. Um, yeah, but, I mean, the sculpt is really nice. You have, it's really nice. But, um, yeah, it's just kind of throwing me off. It, it really is throwing me off how light it is for the size. Let's just get into the review. So, really nice artwork in the back of the figure box, I should say. Right there, it looks really nice. It looks really cool. It looks like he's, like, way over, like, taller than Spawn. At least in there. So... Let's go ahead and start off with my clear ruler on the height. We're going to go to the top of the head right here, not this little earpiece. Top of the head right here, I'd probably say it's about nine and a half inches. So a pretty big figure and really light for that size. I'm going to keep on emphasizing that, that this thing is like super light. So let's go ahead and start with the head. Can't really look up. Well, actually, let me see if it pops up. Oh, no, there it is. It was just stuck. So it looks up, kind of looks down. You get the the head pivot side to side 360 this way um, yeah you see it sticks out a bit right there um, then we have the arms that can go up pretty good t-pose um, this one's gonna be halted by the little shoulder he has right here um, it is on a it is on a socket in the inside right there as you can see so you're able to move it around but to get it just straight up um, 90 is not gonna happen or get it up for a T pose is not going to happen. This is going to keep on hitting his head. So, oh no, actually, it's going to be stopped by the inside right here. That the part that it connects to, it's actually going to be hitting the inside right here. So you're not able to get even that far. There it is. See, right there. So that's the highest it's going to go. You have, like I said, this part can move. You have these like um, forearm guards right here. You do have a single jointed elbow. No bicep pivot, but you do have, I believe, pivot in the in the elbow. But I don't even, you're not even going to get 90 with this. Yeah, you're not even going to get a full 90 degrees with the single jointed. It's going to hit the bicep right here. So you have you get no ab uh, crunch, but you just have the waist one right here that can go full 360. You do have pivot side to side. Front, you can go. Let's see if you can go not really back um he has a big over overgrown diaper right here for the uh articulation i guess but yeah this whole diaper soft see he could do the splits so that's good he could do the splits uh a some thigh rotation if you want to call it that uh single jointed knees that are gonna i don't even think go 90. yeah they might go 90. But no really range at all. Right there. Uh, let's see the ankle. You're going to go up all the way, which is really good. You're going to go down just enough for this heel part to touch the back part right there. 
so not too much going back and then no tar articulation holy crap that's crazy nope no tar articulation that is is that a McFarland first I don't know but um yeah honestly I probably wouldn't want it yep look at that oh you crap look how hollow that is in there yeah yeah I don't know Damn, that sucks. This is not a good figure. I'm very happy and very glad I talked to myself and I'm not paying full price for this. I said, I mean, he looks cool. We'll see. Hopefully, when I when I bring up my Space Tribe Predators, he'll actually look pretty cool next to them. That's what I'm hoping for. But uh, if not, then I mean, I have in my collection at least. So let's get to my favorite part of the video. It is comparison time. Start off, we have the Spawn from MK11 McFarland toys we're on the other side we'll put uh, the clown if you can stand there we go next to another cyber thing from spawn we have cygor the massive heavy beast himself we have the violator there's a clay face next to overkill we have the mcfarland bane that'd be a pretty cool fight actually to see I'm not sure, I'm not aware of his powers or anything like that, so I don't know if it'd be unfair or not, but just based on how they look, that would be a badass fight right there. And then we have him with Killer Croc from the Arkham Asylum. And the Swamp Thing, GameStop exclusive Swamp Thing. Titan Joker. And we have the man bat the last spawn one i'm sorry i looked around i'm like i know i have one more spawn and I, this one just passed in my head so we have the uh manga spawn so we have him next to the dc uh multiverse build a figure across to this which is still one of my favorite figures he looks badass here he is next to montaro he has that silver tail and stuff and then we have him next to the storm collectibles kentaro as well so A Marvel Legends Killmonger, a Marvel Legends Retro Rhino, McFarland Batman, and a Jazz Wears uh, Halo uh, Spartan. Alrighty, and here's the main reason why I got him. So this is Spike Tail. His legs are really bad in the hips, so I have to put him on the stand and he hovers a little bit. But there he is. Then we have, I believe this is Laser Shot. And then we have Borg or Armor Predator, however you want to call them. So that looks really cool. I know. In my mind, I just feel like they either make him or they're going against him because he has all this technology and the Predators want it. So I make up all these crazy stories in my head and they make sense to me. But this looks really cool. Yeah, it looks sick. <laughs> so all right, now I'm not as bad. I don't feel as bad about buying it. So yeah. It looks really cool. Like I said, I honestly would not buy this full price. Wait for it to go on sale. Look on GameStop to see if they're having sales on it or if it's on sale. I got it on sale and I barely think it's worth it. So, yeah. But, you know, to each their own. There's people out there that love Spawn and, you know, will obviously love this and uh, go after it. So, but yeah, if you have them in your uh, collection, let me know what you guys think of them. And, uh, yeah, as always, stay safe out there and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>